Today, I'm going to show you how to create a nested symbol in Sketch. In this video, I'll show you how to create a component that has multiple symbols inside of it. Then I'll show you how I organize multiple states of a symbol and how to complete overrides seamlessly in the inspector panel. Let's get started. If you're new to Sketch and haven't used it much before, I recommend watching my introductory video into Sketch. In that video, I go over the basics of how to get started and how to create symbols. This video is a little bit more advanced, so I'd recommend watching an intro video first. So diving into this project, I am creating a dashboard system that has this area of navigation on the left-hand side. This is something that's going to be a repeatable element throughout the design system. I want to make it into a symbol so it can be reused very easily. If I zoom out, there are several different pages that I'm working on in this application. I have a home section, an analytics section, trends, and messages. Those are the four main sections of the application. And then within each of those sections, there'll be substates in different sections within here. But for right now, I'm just creating the high level architecture. I don't want to create a navigation on one side and then have it slightly different on another tab. So I need the navigation to be completely consistent throughout the whole application. So in order to create a consistent component, I need to make this into a symbol. The thing is that every single one of these icons, this home, this analytics tab, trending and messages, they have basically one of two states. They can either be on or they can be off. Right now, home is on, so that's the one that has the accent color and the other states are off. But first, let's just create this into a symbol. So I'm going to take this navigation bar and I'm going to hold down shift to quickly grab all of the icons, make it into a group by clicking command G and then call it navigation. I'm going to take this navigation and find out where this guy is, this other bar, it's quite at the bottom and hold down option and bring it to the back of that artboard. So now the navigation is at the back. So now it's a complete group. So I'm going to say create symbol and I'll just keep it set to navigation. I'll say, okay. Now that I created this into a symbol, on the right hand side is this idea of overrides. An override is something that you can complete on a symbol, which allows you to replace an element very quickly. Sketch reads these icons as text right now because I use this plugin called Icon Font, which allows you to input an icon very quickly, but it reads it as if it's text. So this area is asking me if I want to override the symbol with text because it doesn't read it as an image. But if you import a PNG or an SVG, it will read it as an image. So I'm going to double click into that symbol and now I have this navigation on the symbols page and I have the icons there. The thing is that I want to swap icons really easily so that when I'm on a different page, I can just turn the symbol on or off. So what I want to do now is that I want to create all of these icons into their own individual symbols. I'm going to grab this icon, create symbol. So now I might put it in a subsection. So I might call it navigation slash home slash on since that's the on state for home. Then I'll take this one and I'll write create symbol. Again, navigation slash analytics slash off, since I know that's going to be the off state for analytics. Then I'll take this one, same thing. When I return back to the instance, now I have this navigation and I see that the overrides panel has now changed. So basically I can swap out these symbols here if I want to, to a different one. I only have an on state for home, but I want to create on and off states for everything else as well. But I'm going to go into here again and make this even more organized. So I'm actually going to bring this down a bit and duplicate that symbol by holding option. I'm going to create an off state for home and an on state for all the other ones. So I'm going to grab all these other ones, hold down option and duplicate them. And now I'm going to rename them. So now when I go back to the page, I see that I have this navigation as a symbol and I can complete an override. So here I see that I can turn that messages on or off. Now it's on, now it's off. Same with trending, analytics tab, and home. So now I'm going to just make it a little bit more organized so the override panel matches the order that the actual navigation appears in. So I'm going to create the home state, make that the first element, then the analytics tab. So now when I return, home is the first thing I see and home is the first thing in the overrides panel. 
So why did we do this? We did this to basically create consistency throughout the project. Because right now, all the other pages I have in this design system have the same navigation that I copy and pasted throughout. But if later I decide, oh, there's not enough padding between each element and I want to increase the spacing of it, I might take this, pull it down a bit and make modifications here. And if I make a modification here, I want it to be consistent throughout the whole project. It wouldn't be because I only created the group on this page. So that's why I like to make my navigation into symbols. Instead of having this grouping independent and only once, I'm going to delete it and add that new symbol that we created. So I'm going to go to my symbols, navigation, and add that right there. And then again, holding down option, I'm bringing it to the back of the artboard. But now we're on the messages panel. And so I want to use my override panel to quickly swap out the icons so I know which state I'm in. I'm not in home anymore, so I'm going to turn home off and turn on the messages panel. And there we go. Now the navigation clearly reflects which section of the application we are in. Now I'm going to complete that for the rest of the other pages. Now I have this symbol that's reused throughout that has symbols inside of it. If I ever decide that I wanna change something about this navigation, I can go into it and make a modification and it will be applied to all the artboards. If I return to the instance, now it is applied to all the artboards and it's completely consistent throughout my project. Maybe later I want to even replace an icon that's in here. So instead of having to go to every single artboard and change the icon on every single page, Instead, at any time, I can click into it and change the icon. So I've installed this icon font plugin. So I usually just go into here and then pick an icon from here. Now I change this icon once. And when I return back to the page level, it's applied to every single page in the design. And your symbols are completely organized. So if I go to symbols and go to navigation, I see analytics on and off, home on and off, messages and trending. This is how I like to organize my symbols so I can clearly see how many states I have per category. Nested symbols are a great way for you to be able to swap things out that you're going to use consistently throughout a project. So I like to use nested symbols for navigation, tabs, and other main components of an application. I hope you enjoyed this video introducing you to nested symbols. Please let me know if you have any questions about this topic and I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.